I can select all of the smart boards that I've previously generated right here at the same time and then hit generate again on the right. And within just a few seconds, we now have new versions of this with the right animals as we had them in our prompts and the style for these looks perfectly like the original. Nano Banana is now built into Kittle Flows, which not only makes it 10 times faster, but it's also a fraction of the cost in terms of credits. And in this video, I'll show you how to use this new feature. I'll show you how it compares to the previous chat GPT workflow. And I'll give you some insight about an upcoming event where you can use Nano Banana for free. So I've got a Halloween themed cat design right here on a normal artboard. And I'm now going to click on smart board up here and that will reference my original design and I can describe a new version of it with a very simple prompt such as change this to a pug and then uh, as you can see the default model now comes up as nano banana chat GPT image 1 HD that was the best option before and that took 60 seconds and 42 credits whereas nano banana in comparison only takes 15 seconds and 10 credits instead and we'll see how the results compare. So if we run this right here, it'll be very quick and it'll turn this design into a pug version. Meanwhile, you can already click on duplicate up here and that will create a new smart board underneath with the same prompt where we could now say, change this to a unicorn and then we can hit generate as well. Meanwhile, this is finished and I think that looks perfect. It looks like a pug and everything else has retained the same, the hat, the pumpkin, everything looks exactly the same as in the original, which is really, really good. Very consistent style there. And the unicorn has also finished and that looks amazing. Now, this becomes really powerful if you build out a bigger workflow like this one right here. So we've got a cat at the beginning and then I've turned it into a dachshund, into a T-Rex, into a goose. We've got a frog, capybara, and an axolotl here. And the good thing is all of these prompts and the settings are saved. So you could put something completely different into the front right here of the queue. For example, if we go into the images tab to Kittle AI images and look for something Christmas themed, why not try it with this pig in a sock? So that'll be our new starting off point. We'll get rid of this cat graphic now and I can select all of the smart boards that I've previously generated right here at the same time and then hit generate again on the right. And within just a few seconds, we now have new versions of this with the right animals as we had them in our prompts and the style for these looks perfectly like the original. Another thing Kittle Flows has been really useful for is replicating existing styles like this right here onto new shapes. So we've got an example workflow right here. This one using ChatGPT image one turns this into a bat, a pumpkin, etc. cetera. Uh, but the thing is the style isn't that accurately replicated. So if we look at the details right here, we've got these patches, they're very vibrant, different colors. Whereas on these replications, the colors are a lot less versatile and they're also quite dull and grainy. If you did the same with Nano Banana, which I've done over here, so if you used the exact same workflow, just change this right here to a different model, then you can see that not only do the colors look a lot more vibrant and similar to the original, you also have these round patches showing up in the design, which is a lot more coherent with this result. So let's actually pull these next to each other right here so we can more easily compare. So you now have on the right hand side, the result from Nano Banana, which was way, way quicker and costs a lot less credits. And on the left hand side, we have the chat GPT version. So you can kind of see the difference here. I think the right clearly looks more colorful and more in line with the input design. Now, besides being able to generate graphics more quickly and easily inside of Kittle, the other reason to use Nano Banana here is if you've generated something, you can quickly convert it to an image and then remove the background because that's built into Kittle. And then you can also vectorize or upscale on the right hand side. And within a few seconds, you have a high quality graphic that you can use within your designs and that will print well on t-shirts without having to go to lots of other services and external tools. And you can now even click on a graphic, say AI chat right here in this floating toolbar, and then ask it questions related to your graphics, such as what might be a funny phrase to go with this graphic for a t-shirt. And then if we hit send, this is essentially like a chat GPT conversation that you can have whilst 
designing with your design tool at hand. So give me 10 more ideas right here. And again, you don't have to go to a separate window into everything inside of Kittle. So now we've got a ton of sentences right here that we could add to this graphic, either by generating it with AI or by adding it with the Kittle text functions. Now, for those of you who have a Kittle account and who want to try out Nano Banana, they actually have an event coming up soon between the 29th of September and the 3rd of October. You can use Nano Banana Unlimited for free if you have a Kittle Pro or a Kittle Expert account. I have a discount code to Kittle in my description and I would definitely take advantage of this. And if you have any bigger sort of Kittle flow processes that you want to run, just wait for this event so you can really scale your designs and get the most out of this new Kittle Flows update. But what about restyling design? So I've been testing this quite a bit, having an existing design right here and then adjusting it to something else like the kawaii style or like a watercolor style, which this example is once again, ChatGPT image one. And it did a pretty good job of that, especially the kawaii version looks amazing in my opinion. And this one at the bottom uh, isn't that cool for t-shirts because of the background. But besides that, it's hit the pop art style. Now, again, I copied the same workflow and then just changed the model to Nano Banana. And here are the results. If we pull these side by side, I don't know. I think in this case, ChatGPT is better at restyling. This doesn't really look like a watercolor version. The Kawaii one um, looks a bit strange and the left definitely is cuter there. And these bottom two versions uh, are not particularly good. I think Pop Art is fairly similar, but yeah, I think in general, when it comes to restyling here, the ChatGPT version has done a better job. There is a spelling mistake uh, on the left, which isn't in the right, but besides that, I think uh, the restyling round right here goes to ChatGPT. So be aware of that if you want to use this model for that purpose. Now, another thing I've been curious about is mockups. And there's this one Kittle Flows template right here where they um, essentially had an input design. This is put together out of some text uh, right here, but focus on some of the more complicated fonts like up here, never stop. The S is quite intricate. And then they've built out this flow system where they turn that design into different mockups. If we focus in on the S, right here, it looks significantly different than in the original design. So this is one thing ChatGPT hasn't been very good at. If you want to create mockups with it, it makes changes to the design. Here the S looks different again. The circle on the 2020 is kind of getting lost as well. Whilst if you zoomed out, it's not that noticeable. It's not very accurate when it comes to this kind of thing. It looks cool if you're kind of zoomed out a large scale, but I think Nano Banana can do better. So what I'm going to do with this Kittle Flows template is I'll just select everything. I will hit Alt on my keyboard and then click and drag this over to the side just so we can now change all of these smart boards to the Nano Banana model and then use the same prompts right here to compare if this model can do a better job, a fraction of the cost. So I'll go ahead and do that. Then I'll zoom out right here, draw a box around all of the smart boards and then hit generate again. And there we go. Uh, I think you can see that the S now actually looks like the original. And how is it in this one? Yep, that looks pretty similar or pretty much exactly the same as well. Actually, no, this little circle there, the number is messed up. So the tiniest bit of detail might not be carried over perfectly. But if you look at the, the first one, again, the S is perfect there. And there it's just again, the two right here is kind of getting lost. But overall, I think it's a better job. If you if look back at the original, yeah, that's that's looking very similar to some of these results right here, if not exactly the same. I think if it's the second step, right? If, if you do multiple steps of generating mockups, then some of the tiniest details might get lost. But overall, it's a lot, lot better at adhering to the same exact kind of layouts and staying true to the original design. So it's definitely a step in the right direction and an improvement for a fraction of the time and cost. And you can even use it for free during that event. So really, really cool to see this in motion right here. And just going back to the original, I think you can see that none of these are really close to what Nano Banana put out. They look higher quality, but 
they're not accurate whatsoever. Another quick bonus tip for you, if you go to the templates section on the left right here, and then scroll down, you will see Kittle Flows, and this holds over a 100 Kittle Flow templates. This will make it a lot easier for you to get started and to understand Kittle Flows and to actually create some designs, scale them out without having to start from scratch. So we've got some Chrome text effects, we've got this text effect bundle, there's a bunch of mock-up templates as well. This is the one you just saw. We've got this black metal apparel one right here but there's also some more t-shirt design specific stuff like this shirt maker and we've got this print and a man template i just played around with the tarot card design creator which was pretty impressive so a lot of stuff to test out right here you can just change the start of the chain or the start of the the flow and then quickly get a ton of new designs you can get some inspiration as well and don't forget about that event coming up from the 29th of september to the 3rd of October, you can use Nano Banana Unlimited for free if you're a Kittle subscriber. And I'm really curious to hear your thoughts about this new update. Let me know in the comments down below if you think it's an improvement to Kittle Flows. If you've ever wondered how to create bootleg style t-shirt designs which are bestsellers on both Etsy and Amazon, then look no further than this tutorial next where I show you how to easily design these with no prior design skills needed.